a wise old owl. Ready? A wise old owl lived in the north. talking about circle time and memory work for children and I'm finally able to release my memory work program to all of you I have received so many emails and requests JD can you share with us your memory work program that you use for your children so for those of you that follow my channel uh, you know that in the morning we do a circle time and in our circle time we do our calendar we do we talk about the weather we do a little devotional that we read for the kids and then we go into our memory work and for our memory work, we do it about 15 to 20 minutes a day. Um, sometimes we only do it three times a week. And the children learn so much. As I went homeschooling throughout the years, I started discovering gaps in my children's education that was not taught in the curriculum um, and that they were not being taught here at home. And I wanted them to be able to know these really important things. Um, have you ever asked any, a child, um, can you tell me... Um, who the president is? Can you tell me who the vice president is? And they can't tell you. Or, or children who don't know the Pledge of Allegiance. Or children who can't answer basic things about uh, the world around them. This is why I created this memory work program. Because this is going to fill in the gaps. It's going to help children know those basic foundational things that all children should know in elementary school. So let's talk about it. So, I have a trifold board, and in the trifold board, I have these like lamination protectors that I take on, like this. And then in here, I slide in these principles. These principles are going to be available for you guys. They can be switched out every two weeks, so that it, it will last you 18 weeks of memory work. Now, if you want it to last you all year, you can just do this every month, and just change this out every month. You can do it as um, slow or as fast as you want to do it. These are the subjects that I have. I have math, science, civics, hymn, poetry, geography, Spanish, art, and composer. So let's go over what these subjects entail. I wanted to be able to answer all your questions about this memory work program that I have for you guys. Um, I'm finally able to share it. You guys know I don't have a lot of time. I have five children. So I was able to record everything for you guys that I do with my children, including the hand motions, um, that come with these, the songs, everything is there for you guys to just download and print. Um, so let's go over what's in each of the subjects. So for math, we have skip counting. Skip counting is very important for children to learn. Um, one of my children learned how to multiply just by simply knowing her skip counting songs. Skip counting songs are wonderful to learn your multiplication facts. They're wonderful for, for patterns, for telling time, and for many mathematical concepts. So this is why in this program we have the children memorizing their skip counting songs um, from 2 to 10. Then we have science. And for science, we have the children memorizing really basic concepts such as the water cycle, photosynthesis, landforms, about animals, lots of different things, lots of basic things that children should know for science. For civics, we have children learning about their leaders, about the government, about uh, the constitution, about everything about where they live about the flag. So it, this civics is geared towards the United States. So if you're not in the United States, this, um, uh, this program might not be geared towards your country. Then for him, I have the children memorizing beautiful Christian classic hymns. I think it's wonderful for children to be able to have a little bank of hymns and songs that they know and that are dear to their hearts and that are classic and beautiful. If you want to make this curriculum secular, you can by just taking out the hymns and putting in other songs that you want your children to learn. But I have found that these classic hymns are just so beautiful to memorize. Uh, I also have the children memorizing poetry. I think it's wonderful to have a little bank of poems that your children know, classic poems. And this is what I have in this program. And it's all memorized through hand motions. So I've come up with these hand motions and I've also used American Sign Language to be able to teach children in a dynamic and interactive way to memorize all of these things. For geography, I have the children memorizing very basic things about geography. There are oceans, there are lakes, uh, the deserts, the mountains, map skills, all types of things, all related to the United States. 
um, and I have blank maps and they're able to be interactive with a dry erase marker and to label things. It's really wonderful what I've created. For Spanish, we are learning Spanish as a second language. I think Spanish is a really good language to learn. More and more people are speaking Spanish in the United States. There's a really large Spanish population. I think it's a great language to learn. And so for this program, we are learning all of the basic concepts for Spanish. Numbers and colors and pets and foods and greetings, all through songs and hand motions. Beautiful and children love it. For art, we have children memorizing and learning about the most famous world paintings. Who painted it? Where it was painted? Details about these paintings. Isn't it beautiful to be able to go into a museum or go somewhere and the child is able to see, yes, I remember that painting. Pablo Picasso painted it. And so it's beautiful. You're going to hear my baby in the background here. And for composer, we have the children learning all about um, very famous composers and their major compositions. Really wonderful to be able to hear a classical song and be able to say, yes, Beethoven composed that. Isn't that wonderful? You can also use an easel binder for your memory work instead of a tripod board. It's a little bit more compact, smaller. You can carry it around. You can have both. Because what I do is, I have the memory work for every two weeks, and then the, the memory that they've already covered, I put it in the easel binder, and then we always do review work. So the children are all, always able to review the things that they have already learned. So it's a wonderful way to keep it fresh in their minds. Um, so this is the memory work program for elementary school students for kindergarten through fifth grade. Um, it's a wonderful program that is going to fill in the gap, is going to enrich their education. If you want to get a hold of this program, I have a special introductory price right now um, for Labor Day. I'm going to link it below in the description box so that you can get a hold of it. Again, what you're going to get is, you're going to get the 18 weeks of memory work. So all you have to do basically is print these sheets out. You're going to have the videos of me basically showing you how to teach these with songs and hand motions. Really interactive dynamic for your children. Um, again, I'm going to link everything below in the description box. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Um, a lot of you have asked me for such a long time to please share it, and I was finally able to sit down and record it. Um, this has been like two years in the making, and it's been a lot of hard work, and it's, and it's been a really fun time for my children. They love memory work. They love morning time with me um, because of all of this, and it's been a wonderful time to connect with my children as well. This is not only for homeschoolers. This is for anyone that has children at home because a lot of these things are not taught in textbooks, unfortunately. All right, you guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this program as much as we have enjoyed it. Um, head over to my community tab, leave me any comments or questions that you have. Until next time, bye-bye. Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island and New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and lastly is Georgia. The 13 colonies. So I have a song for the continents, and it goes like this North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica.